Rodriguez Elliott, Artistic Co-Director. This past season, I had the absolute pleasure of meeting many of you, whether you attended Tardiada or Cigarros or attended Anna in the Tropics or perhaps attended a Latina Christmas Special. Uh, it was a great joy to connect with old friends and meet new ones. And we are about to uh, embark on our upcoming season and I wanted to share that season with you. Our 22-23 season theme is Daring to Love. And we look at um, characters in plays uh, that against all odds, they choose to act and they choose to walk towards the light, if you will, and choose love over, over, over hate. And I think that it's, um, it's a moment where all of us need a lot of hope and uh, we're looking at plays where characters are striving to create change around injustices that they see around them with a great deal of passion and a great deal of care and a great deal of love. The first play of the season will be George Orwell's Animal Farm. It is a wild ride. I would say how often do you get to see actors playing animals? It is a reverent, it is funny, it is wildly theatrical. It, um, it is, in a sense, a, a, a call to action for our times. It speaks to dictatorships anytime, anywhere. Um, it, it also has beautiful music. This particular adaptation is by Sir Peter Hall. The second show in our fall season would be August Wilson's Radio Golf and it is the final installment of the August Wilson American Century Cycle. And it is, I would say, probably the most modern uh, of, of his plays. And it looks at legacy. It looks at the choices that we make around so-called progress. Um, what happens when a community loses the cultural, their cultural heartbeat uh, where where does that community go go from there? Um, it is uh, as it's always the case with with Wilson. You have characters who really dare to make bold choices, and the language is of course as soaring as it always is in in his plays. We finally close the fall season with uh, the classic a Christmas Carol our annual tradition, uh, and, it, and that is the play that, um, talk about daring to, um, to change the course of the life that you have lead, led, as Scrooge does in, in A Christmas Carol. It is a play for all ages, from the youngest member of your family to the oldest, I think, can enjoy this production. And then finally, we are absolutely thrilled to welcome Latina Christmas special, and that is um, through our Noise Now program. I think this will be our, our third year a collaboration with them, and um, it is such a, a wonderful, personal, vulnerable, intimate look at the lives of, um, of three women and how they celebrate the holidays in their community. The spring season will open with William Shakespeare's Much Ado About Nothing, probably one of his most sophisticated comedy about two individuals who truly dare to love. It will be followed by Argentinian playwright Manuel Puig's Kiss of the Spider Woman, a beautiful love story about two individuals who form a very deep bond in the most unlikely of circumstances and environments. Uh, some of you may recall the gorgeous uh, film with Raul Julia and Bill Hurt playing the two prisoners. The season will finally close with Lauren Gonderson's The Book of Will. And this play is truly a valentine to Shakespeare and a valentine to the theater. Uh, the actors in Shakespeare's company are getting older and the plays have never been written. They all live in the memory of these actors. So Shakespeare's troops uh, decide to uh, put the plays on paper 
and create a collection of Shakespeare's uh, plays. And it is very funny and it is told in an incredibly modern way. So you don't necessarily need to be a Shakespeare buff to love this play, but if you are, you will be fascinated uh, with what Lauren Gunderson creates in, in this particular uh, Shakespearean world. It is a very exciting season and I look forward to having you join us for one production, two productions, three productions, or perhaps even becoming a, a member of the family by subscribing to all six plays. There is a lot more information on our website, on the plays, on subscribing, on purchasing tickets, and you can go to our website at www.anoisewithin.org for information. I really hope to see you all at the theater and be able to personally welcome each and every one of you.